Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program for factorial using scanner and recursion so guys a factorial of n is the product of all positive descending integers so over here factorial of n is denoted by n and then exclamation mark so as you can see for examples the four factorial will be 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiply by 1 so up to 1 we have to multiply all the numbers in order to find the factorial of a number it will be equal to 24 again 5 factorial it will be 5 multiply by 4 multiply by 3 multiply by 2 multiply by 1 so guys the multiplication of all the positive numbers all the numbers that are less than the number that we want to find the factorial of will be the result of our factorial of that number so guys let us write this java program over here in the eclipse id we can either use the simple for loop in order to find the factorial of a number or we can use the recursion as well in this case we are going to use the recursion and we are going to use the scanner class in order to take the number from the user so first of all we are going to declare the number that is int number and this number will be provided by the user so we will ask the user to enter the number over here so enter the number and then we have colon and we are going to define the scanner object so scanner sc it is equal to new scanner over here and then we have system dot in inside this parenthesis so guys this scanner class is responsible in order to take the input from the user and that input will be stored inside this number variable so we will have another line of code that is number it is equal to sc followed by dot next end so guys this sc dot next end is responsible in order to take the number from the user and this entered number will be assigned to this number variable now guys we can write an additional function over here which will return the integer in the form of the factorial result so we have int factorial and it will take one parameter which will be equal to n over here so int n for which we will be finding the factorial now the logic behind finding the factorial is first of all we need to check whether n is equal to 1 or not so if n it is equal to 1 we have to return 1 in this case so what i will do is we will say return 1 now guys if n is not equal to 1 the control flow will go to the next line and it will simply return n multiply by factorial of n minus 1 so we are calling this method once again from inside this method body so guys this is the main functionality of the recursion so recursion means calling the function from the function body itself so that is what we are doing in this case now what we are doing exactly over here is let's say the entered number is 1 over here so we will call this factorial function and the integer n it is equal to 1 in this case n is equal to equal to 1 yes in this case it will simply return 1 so the answer will be 1 because 1 factorial is 1 now what if the entered number is 2 so the parameter for the factorial method will be 2 over here so is n equal to equal to 1 no in this case so it will go over here it will check return n multiply by factorial of n minus 1 now guys before returning this first of all the expression needs to be calculated so n will be 2 in this case so i'll write it over here so that you can understand it properly so n will be 2 in this case multiply by it will be factorial of n minus 1 so i'll simply copy this over here in which case n is equal to 2 now and over here inside the bracket it will be factorial of 2 minus 1 which is 1 now what will happen is the factorial of 2 minus 1 will be calculated which is factorial of 1 in this case so what is factorial of 1 so when n is equal to 1 the 1 will be returned over here so this becomes 1 in this case so basically this will be replaced by 1 so what is 2 multiply by 1 it is equal to 2 so 2 will be returned by our factorial function and that is how the factorial will be calculated what if the number is 4 so basically initially what will happen is is n equal to equal to 1 no in this case so n multiply by factorial of n minus 1 will be returned so what is n right now it is 4 but before calculating this expression we need to find factorial of n minus 1 where n is equal equal to 4 so factorial of 4 minus 1 it will be equal to 3 next time the control flow will come over here n will be equal to 3 and in this case factorial of 2 will be found and then next time n it will be equal to 2 again and factorial of 1 will be found and as you know factorial of 1 is what it is 1 so 2 multiply by 1 is 2 over here so 2 will be returned and it will be replaced over here so 3 multiply by 2 is 6 
So 6 will be returned and it will be replaced by factorial of 3 over here. So it will be 6 and then 6 multiplied by 4 is 24. So 24 will be returned to the main method and that is what is being displayed over here. 4 factorial is 24 and that is how the Java program of factorial will work. So we just need to call the factorial method over here. So what we will do is int answer it is equal to factorial and then what we will pass is this number that is entered by user. So I'll just copy this and paste this over here and then what we will do is we will have to print the answer over here. So I'll say factorial of this number that is entered by user number is and then we have answer over here. So guys let me just save this file now and try running this code. So it is saying errors exist in required project. Let me just see what is the error. So it is showing a red underline over here. It says cannot make a static reference to the non-static method factorial int. Now guys why it is showing this error? That's because we are calling this factorial method from the main method which is a static method. So whatever method that we are calling from a static method must also be a static method which we have not defined in this case. So what I will simply do is I will come over here. I'll say change factorial to static. So this static keyword was used before this int factorial method. So guys let me just save this file now and try running this code. So as you can see enter the number I'll say 4 and then press enter it says factorial of 4 is 24 and that is what we have seen the factorial of 4 is 24. Let me just run this file once again and then I'll enter 5 it says factorial of 5 is 120 and that is the answer. Let me just check in the calculator once again what will happen is 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 equal to it is 120. Now what will be the factorial of 8? So let me just run this code once again and I'll say 8 over here and let me press enter it is 40,320. Let us verify the same thing once again. So 5 factorial is 120. We just need to multiply the next three numbers that is multiply by 6, multiply by 7, multiply by 8 and then equal to it says 4320. What will be the factorial of 10? Let me just run this code once again. Enter the number as 10. So it says 3628800. So let me just multiply this number by 9. That's because the previous number was factorial of 8. And then we have multiplied by 10. So equal to it is 3628800. The same number is being displayed over here. So guys in this way we can easily write the Java program in order to find the factorial of a number that is entered by the user. So guys that's it in this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is Java program for palindrome number. So stay tuned.